Well, it's a horrible, rainy, horrible, freezing uh, February day, so not doing much work-wise this week. Just doing a couple of specialist jobs this week, work-wise. I've done one of them, or I've got another one today, tomorrow. A couple of specialist um, items. But today, I'm just kitting out, I'm back on the Fleischmann stuff, kitting out these uh, Lintus uh, Fleischmann rail cars. Nordban scientists beautiful models and they're so nice these I mean they're really well detailed highly reliable and you have a close connection between cars that, that sort of uh, pivots and moves around as in real life it's got all the detail the destination boards it's just a stunning model I love these models I've got I think I've got probably eight or even nine of these in different liveries. But this one's a stunner. And there's the other one I'm doing. I'm just kitting that out. Just installed Block Pilot Micro, which is very easy, very small chip, goes in well. Top cover goes, the body goes on perfectly. If you're doing sound, I normally put a speaker, a cube speaker or whatever around this area. But these are having identical chips and then I'm going to hook up the hard connection between the both units so that prototypical coupling comes out and then you install oh, actually no sorry that stays in you, the, the hard coupling goes below in that lower fairing there that's how it connects up and then I'm going to run them on the same address that's programmed up I'll take that off put the new one on and then copy all the settings from this one to that one the same address everything and they should run nice together I think so that's uh, like that running soon and uh, I'm after thinking about getting another one of these coaches to extend this train a little bit longer. I might even get another two coaches, a double decker in the city. Um, coaches, Regional Express. They're really nice. Then. That's the other version. Hang on, just bear with me. I'll just come around here. That's the other version of another Lintus. Going through my stock and uh, decided to pull this one out which is the TGV V150 which is a world record breaking uh, TGV train well, this set is absolutely beautiful it looks beautiful sounds beautiful um, but the most disappointing thing is it runs slow it doesn't run fast at all so I spoke to someone on YouTube about um, someone else who had a similar problem who solved it so I'm going to hunt down Apparently there's a, in uh, 2023 June, I think it is, in a continental model, someone's done a, um, a section in there of how to convert the motors to make them run faster. Because apparently they're in line, they're wired in line, so that takes all the juice, apparently. Uh, so once you do wire it the other way, It'll run a lot faster apparently, so if that's the case, I'll be doing it on uh, the other two TGVs i got. It really is a beautiful model, I mean the box itself is a work of art. I did have the Duef Hornby one, which is another really really nice set, but I ended up selling it when I got this one. I wish I never did, because the Duef Hornby one run a lot quicker. It had a French booklet all about the train as well. It was really nice. Um, I paid €664 Euros for this. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a really, really nice set. Do a quick, quick look at it. And you can see the print work on it. And the build quality is awesome. Internal lighting, everything. It's really, really good. It's just a shame it doesn't go fast. 
it doesn't live up to what it says on the box. Yeah, it's all there. So it's quite a rare set this now. Never see I've never see these on eBay. Got it when it came out when it's first launched. But there we go. It's another story.